Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Casper. We're on episode 5 of Tulsa King, so let's get straight to it. Episode 5, Tulsa King is directed by Ben Sinemoff, written by Taylor Sheridan, and this episode is called Token Joe. So in the beginning, we see Dwight. We see very good editing on him getting dressed, and it's very sharp. You hear some Frank Sinatra in the background, so the mafia style and swag is continuing even with the first couple seconds of this episode. Dwight is actually getting ready to go to his brother's funeral, so that's why we see Dwight getting ready. During the introduction, we also see his daughter for the first time. So now we see his daughter get involved, but his daughter from the looks of it doesn't know if that's really him Dwight sees his daughter and Dwight starts talking to his sister about like him trying to make amends with the family but the whole family is just not really accepting it at all good flow and then also we see on the other side as well we seen the biker gang start to do more corrupt stuff the boss actually wants one of his crew members to go talk to the police and grab a couple of police that are corrupt to work for them that transitions to them actually approaching Tyson while Tyson is just minding his own business. So now we start to see more corruptness and more of the police and the, the biker gang fooling around, basically bugging Dwight's crew. And all this is happening. I really like how you see this happening while Dwight's in New York trying to make amends with his family and also there for the funeral. While that's happening, Dwight has no idea that Tyson and even Bodie are getting harassed by these corrupt cops. There's a goof in the beginning when Dwight's at the funeral. Notice that Dwight's brother in the coffin has a little breathing moments where you see the chest go up, but I didn't lower my point at all we start to see a very cool development with mitch never really mentioned in other episodes but known for being in four brothers and his rise and his character development in here is growing a lot so very dope to see mitch's lines and his character grow throughout these couple episodes like i said the mafia flow is continuing on we've seen chicky actually called dwight because Chicky found out that Dwight is in New York. That interaction is really good. The interaction felt like, okay, now you got these mafia people going at it again, but Dwight has good reason to not check in with them. But you later find out Dwight ends up going to the hospital to check in and all the whole mafia family is feeling a little biased or a little fake because Dwight is like showing up and showing out when he approaches everyone there. That's a crazy interaction. So more of the mafia vibe is continuing on. You see another crazy scene, very good interaction with Dwight and his daughter, very intense. The drama level on that was an 11 out of 10 because Dwight finds out a lot of stuff that happened while he was in jail. This episode is definitely the example of it's growing with each episode now this episode right here now you see dwight get very pissed you see more drama involved and now dwight is actually gonna go with and actually attack the mafia family because dwight is actually very pissed from what he heard from his daughter and now he checks in with the boss pete and pete did look like he didn't know what happened but the fact that pete has some grimy things to him as well it did look believable and he didn't know what happened so it's a good thing that he didn't know it would have been crazy if everyone knew and they were just hiding that from Dwight Dwight did not care he went and, and took things in his own hands he mentioned to his daughter that he wasn't gonna do anything but Dwight being the father he's gonna do what a father does crazy mafia scene right there where Dwight just comes in and just go straight rampage and this episode was out of nowhere unexpected because these other episodes you never really saw kills like that and Dwight went straight in the editing was great cutscenes was dope the mafia music in the background just added all to it and the way Dwight AK Stallone was moving I was like yo this is crazy and the way they ended that episode very insane this is the fifth episode and it's still going in. The fact that I didn't have too many of those kills like this episode had right here, it was all worth it, it makes sense, and I'm happy that we finally get to see a scene like this. And I'm not mad that it took this long for a scene to happen like this. Exactly what you want in a mafia TV show. We also see Bodhi and Dwight get involved in their own little situations back at home. So I really like how we see Dwight doing his thing in New York while back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tyson, Bodie are all involved in their own things. And then you see Stacy in here again. Stacy just being Stacy gives a call to Dwight just to see 
what is going on. She's surprised that Dwight is in New York. More consequences are being involved with each character. Tyson ends up in jail and what he deals with in jail. Nothing too crazy, but what Tyson deals with in jail really good lines and good approach and the mannerisms and everything that Tyson dealt with in the jail felt real. Good shots and good editing, I would say, when Tyson was involved in the jail scene with the other cops. And you saw corruption as well. And when Bodie was involved with his stuff, you saw that as well. People got on the screen, like Bodie, Tyson, and even Mitch. You even see as well Armand in here as well trying to figure out what's going on with the biker gang because you got over here Roxy being the triple face as she is makes Armand do his little investigation. But once again, every character in here is still on point. Every character doesn't feel small. Besides Roxy, she's like the small character because you can tell she's just the triple face, but everybody is playing their role right. What I like from the episode as well is when Stallone is giving his little speech or when he's reading the letter. I really like that scene because it shows kind of like a rocky feel. Editing was great because it just showed good angles of Stallone giving out that presence. And they did a good job on, you know, giving Stallone moments like that. The interaction with Dwight and his daughter, I did like that because you finally felt what Dwight's feeling while he's trying to make this business happen as well. But Dwight's daughter is played by Tatiana Zaparadino. So overall, Tulsa King is holding up to that mafia status and I'm really enjoying it. Fifth episode on point. So after watching the fifth episode of Tulsa King out of 10, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. That's my review for the fifth episode of Tulsa King. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, y'all.